So taking the intro when I'm climbing up the hill is not the best of ideas, but today <clears throat> as you can see on this signpost, I am taking photos at the Ogasara Islands. So this afternoon I don't have too much planned, but I thought I'd take my A7 III and the Sigma 100 to 400 mm lens out and take some photos of the island I guess, just whatever I see and whatever I feel like taking. Originally I bought this lens to take photos of whales, which I've been doing recently, but I thought I'd put it to use because I'm really enjoying how it performs. So yeah, um, let's go see what I take. So as I was heading up to the photo spot, I came across a small herd of wild goats. So I'm taking a couple shots here before I head on to the main photo spot for today. Eh, not bad, but... Oh, there we go. They came back. And... Let's try climb up here actually, see if there's anything to take photos of. I think there is, maybe. Huh. Let's bump up the ISO a little bit. And snap. I don't want to take some photos of birds if I see any around, but right now there doesn't seem to be any. There's a bird right there. Zoom in. Soon. Nope. Seems kind of friendly. He's not running away at all. Try to get the focus on to the bird, not the background. There we go. He's looking right this way. Oh, there he goes. Anyway, yeah, before I got sidetracked by the bird, I wanted to take the photo of the shipwreck right there. So, let's see. <clears throat> so this shipwreck is from back in the war, I think. And you can actually snorkel to it, and it's really, really cool. And I have some photos of it actually, which I'm gonna stick up right now. And even on a day like this, when the weather isn't perfect, the ocean looks really nice from up here actually. You kind of start to take it for granted when you've lived here for a long time, but. <laughs> I'm happy I kind of came out to take some photos today. No, oh, there's another bird looking this way. So I am going to try to take a photo of it without scaring it away. Right there. What I want to do is I want to get the ocean in the background, so I want to move to the other side of this bird. Oh, right, there he goes. And in here, I'm sure I'll see another one soon. Huh. 
So the thing about the zoom lens is, is that sometimes you're way too close to the subject. I'll make do. I'm gonna head down to the bottom of the beach and see if there's anything to take from there. Get a couple more shots of the shipwreck right here. So I arrived at the bottom of the beach. Now, all these holes actually around here in the sand are turtle nests from last year. And for those of you who don't know, I'm actually working at a turtle conservation center right now. So I was here a lot of times last year trying to help protect these turtles. And yeah. Looks like someone's cleaned up some of the trash on the beach, which is very nice of them, and gathered it in one place. And then usually some other people come down the next day to gather this up and bring it to the top. Ooh. Ship broke. Okay, it's a great today. So let's see, so it seems like this I feel like a regular lens might be, might do a better job but I'll see what I can do with the 100-400 <laughs> I mean, yeah, I really should have brought a different lens with me today if I'm going to take photos like this but uh, we'll do uh, so I guess I'll come back here later in the day and try to take some more photos. <coughs> but anyhow. Oh, a cave. Hey. Good thing about coming further away is you can take photos like this. And this, I guess. Oh, look. There's a tree growing out from the top of the rock. I'm not sure if you can see it on the GoPro, but it's like a tiny tree on top of the rock. So I'm going to take a couple photos of that. Also the rock behind the the roots on the rock behind us is super cool, I think. So it's just me and my I was planning to head out again in the afternoon but unfortunately the weather wasn't too good, it started raining so I got it a day for here. Thanks for watching all the way through and I know the audio and stuff, the quality isn't too good yet but I'm gonna be working on that for the future videos and I want to try a similar POV style for my underwater photography which I think will be more interesting so please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already and as always I will see you in the next video.